Alright fellow YouTubers, Caleb Craig, Depple Toys and 2 here bringing you on the Series 5 Marvel Legends by Toy Biz Silver Surfer Included with Donald the Duck So let's take a quick look at the packaging and let's take a closer look at the figure See there's a little bit of a yellowish tint from uh, I guess how old it is Series 5 Marvel Legends Silver Surfer 32 page comic book Howard the Duck Psychic figure while multiple displays it. Nice 39 points of articulation Apparently this comic is not for sale Pretty cool picture of Silver Surfer here with his so-called stats they actually have a picture of the character from the comic book instead of the actual figure. Richard delivers home for world certain destruction. Norn Rise struck a deal with the fundamental force of nature known as Galactus. As the world devours Herald, he will search the galaxy for his master's sustenance. Eventually breaking his bonds, the Silver Surfer now stores the cosmic waves unshackled as the long sentinel of the space waves. Collect them all. And collect them all. That Colossus, the blade, looking very good. I have to say we're too got to get the Mr. Fantastic. Very cool symbols going up the side. Very nice nostalgia box. Now let's look at the actual figure. Pretty cool comment that you get that comes with it. Looking very nice. Look at him. All right, and here's Silver Surfer with Howard the Duck out of the box. All I can say is that this is way better than I thought it was going to be. I love here up in this area. When I zoom in, you guys will see it's like it's just sparkling, whatever type of glitter they use. I did not really know about the magnets or if that was that one. I love the magnets that are on the feet, and this base is genius. So let's take a closer look at Howard the Surfer in the base, and then we'll look at the articulation. Here we have Howard looking someone like Donald the Duck. They actually did put a lot of details into his eyes. I do like the outline around the white. I don't know. I think his fur is really supposed to be more of a white color, but mine is kind of like it looks like more of a yellowish like beige. I do not know if that was normal or if it wasn't. The feet are pretty cool. I do like how it's able to stand up. It's not bent or warped. His head does feel a little cheap. Like if I twist it too hard, it might come off. And it feels loose as you can see there around the neck. I do like the texture around the actual jacket that he has on. And I do like they gave him a very... <laughs> funny looking tie there that's very cool has the white gloves man if this isn't donald i don't know what it is he even looks mad just like i just dropped him come here you anyway so as i was saying also with his hat it just looks really cool they did an awesome job on it and i just love how it sits there so this is an awesome piece to have does anyone know the real reason why they included him with the silver surfer or was it just a really cool little treat Oh yeah, almost forgot. And his articulation is to move his head a little bit. Cannot move it up and down. And he can move his arms. So that's pretty cool that they even included that in there. Now for the Silver Surfer. First off, if we look at the base, they did an awesome job. I love how this thing can actually has two little plugs that can hook into two holes that are on the bottom of the actual surfboard. That looks very good. They did an awesome job. This looks like it would be a crater from some planet. I do like how the yellow and black looks that came out very good it's really shiny and silver i do love how this isn't loose it actually keeps the figure up and that looks very awesome i do love it now we're going to look at the actual board as you can see here it just looks really cool like it's a little glitter in the board too it's made out of the same paint that looks like a silver surfer i love that because it was one in the same color and i love this huge magnet they come here because it just sticks to it right away so you have a little scuffing right there hopefully i can just rub it off i'll work on that a little later but this is still really cool i love it let's look at the actual figure now now the actual silver surfer does look very cool as you can see with the all white eyes the only thing that i think i wouldn't like is that it's like some stuff kind of rubbed off on my hand can you see a little purplish part of my index finger that actually is from the figure so it feels like it has a little of something on it that kind of rubs off you see how glossy they make that head it's looking awesome it does make sense he has kind of an alien shaped head which you know he's not from our planet but at the same time i don't know i feel like they could have made it look a little bit more human like but as you can see they did an awesome job on the torso a lot of detail we don't just have one solid gray you see blue in there it's looking awesome and just shiny i love it few issues where the paint looks kind of weird as you can see here in weird places but past that it's not that bad not quite sure why they chose this actual uh, type of pose for the fingers there but you can even see the articulation in there that looks pretty awesome i am liking that i do have a few scuffs throughout here you see there's a little scratching right there in that blue spot i showed and even here at the top you see there it looks like it's a little clash of something in the plastic so i guess you know the shoulders were a bit of an issue but they did it for more articulation what i love is that you still get the blue tint throughout the legs so that is looking so cool i do like that here we have another little issue right there around the leg like it doesn't look that bad and there's another little scuff there but to me this is good for how paint was back in the day and i really did that and i really do feel that overall they did do a good job Back of the right leg, you can see there's once again that weird looking blue paint, but I'm not going to lie, I do like how when it's not completely spread over, a little dot there, and I do love just how they mixed it in there. I feel like they just put like whatever, they sprinkled the glitter on the top and not throughout the body. It would have been nice for it to be more throughout the body, but you can just tell it's more focused on the head. But still, this is a very nice figure. Let's check out the articulation. 
All right, so now let's look at the actual articulation. He's like, I don't know. But anyway, as you can see here, the foot can actually go back that far. It can go that far forward. And you can see you have the toe bend. I know they keep saying we don't need a toe bend, but I like it for some reason. I do like the toe bend. You can twist here at the shin. Very nice. Double jointed knees goes all the way. His legs can spread out really far. Good job. I like that. That's really cool. As you can see here, he does have waist little twist there. As you can tell, it's really stiff. And yes, it is the ab crunch in here, as you can tell. The ab crunch is stiff beyond whatever I felt. Man, that is a stiff ab crunch. But you can do it a little bit. No upper torso twist. You can actually twist here at the bicep. You can see you can actually make the hand go up really far. That's amazing. Look at that. And I guess this kind of comes out some and you can kind of bring it down. That is some weird articulation that far out. It can still go completely around as you can tell. You can sit here and twist at the forearm. It does bend past the right angle. You can sit here and actually pop the wrist and then you can actually like bend the whole finger here. So all this bends here. So if he did have a weapon, he would. My bad. So I ran out of room on my phone and had to delete some stuff but anyway that was that finger or well, that hand and now on this side you can actually see that it actually can move all of these two so that's pretty cool you can give a thumbs up slash looks like they use the same hand from gambit i'm guessing from toy biz days but it still doesn't look that bad now you can actually move the head really far down so that's really far down that's really cool and he can look really far up i think because he has that little gap in the back but that's awesome we don't get that many figures that can actually do something as simple as that but it's no pivot but still a very nice figure Okay, you guys, but this has been my review of the Silver Surfer Toy Biz Legends. I do love it. I love the base. I even love we get the treat of Howard the Duck. Very nice figure. And if you get a chance, I would pick it up. But this has been a review. Bye, Caleb Craig, Deadpool Toys 2. I'll see you guys in future videos. Bye.